Hey guys, Lamp and Any to you again today with episode 35 of Coin Collector. As always, if you missed the previous episode I uploaded two days ago, there will be a link to the whole playlist down in the description below for you to check that out if you of course want to only. As you can see on the screen right now, a bunch of players have sold already and we are now at 687,000 coins around and about. And still a couple of players to sell, like for example the Inform Butner who will give us a very nice profit. And this is actually quite a little thing I wanted to talk about in this episode. I find it that when I have more coins to spend, like around yeah, maybe from over 500,000 coins and then plus of course over 1 million etc etc. Um, that I actually try to go for more crazy deals and the crazy profits than I used to when I have less coins, like only 200,000 coins, even 100,000 coins. And I think, I don't know if that's just me or if it's everybody else who has a little bit more coins, but if you think about that, um, you have got, um, of course, usually 30 places on the trade pile. And if you, let's say, go for rather easy profits, like 2k profits or so, and if you buy 30 players, which should be pretty easy for that kind of profit range, then you get 60,000 coins profit, and that is just amazing and you can do that over and over again without any problem if you have got a lot of coins to spend on players so um, I should maybe go and try to get back into some yeah rather small profits but more consistent profits so the players actually sell um, a lot faster because I often get asked how fast my players sell or how long I take to sell these players and that really depends to be honest um, some of them sell instantly in the first hour but some can take up to I know maybe two or three days and of course in case of the Beauvue I still have on my trade pile this does an exceptional case because I know I won't sell him at the moment I just have him sit there on the trade pile so you know he is still there <clears throat> sorry but a couple of players um, really take some time to sell and I don't know, maybe I just need to get back to sl smaller profits, as I said in the beginning of this video. <clears throat> and actually, another thing I wanted to ask you guys now is whether you'd like me to talk more about the trading part of these videos, because I still can't show you game gameplay. I still have got some Xbox Live issues, but I hope I resolve them pretty quickly. Um, so I still have only trading to show you here, which should be okay, at least for some more days. Um, but it's up to you guys whether you'd like me to talk about the trading and I just pick a trading topic like for example in the last episode talking a little bit about gambling and guessing as the title said or now talking about smaller profits or bigger profits or as you can see on the screen right now very quickly Bittner actually sold and another very nice profit there I think around maybe 30,000 coins or so which is of course pretty nice um, or whether you'd like me to talk about a special topic or just answer some questions you leave in the comment sections um, just leave your suggestions if you've got any of course already for any topics I could talk about in these five to six minute videos this would be pretty cool and I'll try my best to do that because I of course want you guys to enjoy these videos and I don't know if it gets dull after some time to just tell you which players I bought and which players I sold and talking about trading I don't know that I only sit here and record this commentary so please let me know if you want to hear more about trading or if I should talk about some topics and then of course you are free to leave some suggestions in the comment section below. As you can see right now I got two other Fellainis in the center defensive midfielder position simply because I think he's worth that much more than I actually bought them for because when you can't get a center attacking midfielder Fellaini for under 45,000 coins then a CDM Fellaini should definitely go for more than that. That is just the logic behind that, I thought. Um, also got this test taken. He will always only sell for more than I bought him for because in the 4 one 2 one 2 formation, of course, as always, formations are key for some of the players, especially the lower rated ones and the lower priced ones. As you can see, there are sold and the test taken as well. Henri and Nugent and also Austin in the 4-3-3 formation which I traded quite a lot of times and as you can see I got a lot of players in my trade pile now in total. Got another Fellaini in the center defensive midfielder position this time 3-5-2 formation. Very nice formation there indeed. And then I got two Adlers. Same with uh, as with the Testegen here. 4-1-2-1-2 formation. That's why he will sell for more of course. 
And actually, I sold the test taken for 21,000 coins and then quickly checked for his price on the market again. And I got another one for 16,000 coins. So I don't know what that was all about. Why the person that bought my test taken simply didn't buy this one. Um, nevertheless, not my problem. I relist him and this will actually be the end of the episode, guys. So as always, a like is greatly appreciated if you did indeed enjoy this episode. Please, once again, let me know in the comment section what you'd like me to talk about in the upcoming episodes of this series. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching once again and all your support on the recent episodes, guys. And I will talk to you later.